Welcome and thanks for watching. This is going to be a short video tutorial of how to complete hydrant inspections within ESO. The first step whenever you inspect hydrants is going to be able to open up the hydrants app within ESO. You're going to want to determine which hydrants are assigned to your crew. To do that, you'll select list view, tasks, and then you're going to click the filter button. At this point, you'll filter your station and your shift. The following list will be the hydrants that are assigned to you by the fire marshal's office. From this point, pay attention to the left-hand column. Uh, you'll see the hydrant ID that will correspond to the map pages that are assigned to you. So give yourself a little scroll, uh, pay attention to what numbers you see, and those will be your map pages. The icons here indicate which test is required or scheduled for those hydrants. Next, you want to select the Hydrants link. On the search field, hit the Filter button. That way you can filter out hydrants to your assigned map page. Under Tags, this is where you'll want to select the tag that corresponds to your map page. It will highlight only those hydrants. Hit Close and then OK. It will take you to your map page and the hydrants there within. This next section shows you how to complete the tasks that are assigned for a hydrant. This one has an inspection assigned to this hydrant. Open it and just work your way down through this menu. Hit your start time, select your station shift and who completed this task. And as you're done, hit done as in the inspection for that is complete. Go back up, end time, and then move it to status from scheduled to completed. If for any reason you forget to complete a certain field when you're checking a hydrant, you can go back to that same hydrant, select the task, and fill in any applicable fields that you forgot. Also, it's important to change the status of the task to completed. You can also go back and do that as you're testing the hydrant, or if you forget, you can go back and after. When you try and complete the test, it's going to run some validations or some closed call rules, essentially. Just like our EHR, work through those problems, it'll tell you what it needs. Uh, this was just an incorrect completed date. Fix those errors, hit OK, and that hydrant will now show completed. This last example will demonstrate how to do a flow test for assigned hydrants. You click on your hydrant, identify that it needs a flow test. Click your start time and all of your assignment details, your station shift and person completing this task. These are important to fill in as many details as possible um, because we're going to be able to run pretty detailed reports in the future and the more data we have collected with each hydrant then the better it will be for those reports. You enter your static, residual, and your pitot pressures. The outlet diameter and the discharge coefficient is um, already plugged in for you. And after you've entered all your data, you just hit Calculate Flow. It will do all the calculations. If there are any repairs that need to be made, uh, here are some common issues with the hydrants. Select one if applicable. And then you'll go back up and um, hit your start, your stop time and change your hydrant status to completed. One last tip for you, if you are looking for a specific hydrant location or any details for it, go to the list view and type in the hydrant ID in quotations and it will pull up all tasks for that hydrant ID.